Hello, Luis Fernando, how are you? So, I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm doing great. So, how was your, your weekend? So, nice weekend. Chance to relax, uh, do some activities with the family. And nice you? weekend. Chance to relax. What you what did you do this weekend? What did, what did you do this weekend? Please. Yes, the same. Relax here home. Yesterday I went to Peru. I I have a stomach ache. Are you taking medicine? Are you taking medicine? Uh, yes, but este, I feel I feel better last night. I, sorry, I, I was uh, sick last night, but by today I, I was I'm good. But something, some ingredient on the food maybe is what wrong, or maybe you, I. I was uh, sick with another food, but today I was sick. But today late, I was good. Now I'm good. Yes. Good. Good. Okay. Well, okay. it's good. Sometimes well, it's, good. it's the Sometimes food. It's not it's cooked or not cooked it too, or much, too, many too many spices or something like that. Yes. Yes, something is that. Okay, good. Well, in this good. moment, we're going to get started with moment, unit four. We're get started with unit four. Okay, so okay. let's take a look. So let's yeah, take let me a share look. the screen with you. Luis, do you have two microphones or two computers? Yes, but I think the, the Wi Fi is a uh, signal, it's low. Okay. Not sure. The, what what is the problem? I I think the company Claro is the, the very poor signal. Yes, I, I think another yes. comp another companies uh, their Wi-Fi is better, but in this case my Wi-Fi is is Claro in the company Claro, but I think uh, Claro is is very bad the the signal very poor. Okay. okay. No problem. I just I was just no checking problem. because I, just, I, I kept hearing my voice like two times. I speak and then I hear again. I, I was thinking. I hear again. I was thinking. It's usually when somebody has it's two microphones, or, has two, microphones or two computers, or something or like that. Computer, something like that. See. Yes. Okay. Yes, I see. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. Okay. Well, no problem. All right. well, Here, no let me share uh, Here, the screen so that we can see our video for today. Okay, thank you, appreciate that. So let's see the introduction to our video to get started with unit four. Keep on watching these videos. They give you a preview of what this section will be about. My name is Matthew Hawks and I'm a singer songwriter. Making music is my creative outlet, the way I make sense of the world around me. When I sit down to compose, the first thing I do is tune my guitar. Once the guitar is tuned up and ready, I set up the keyboard. The keyboard has multiple functions and multiple sounds. What comes out of me is a reflection of how I'm feeling that day. Sometimes I can spend hours writing one piece. I'm writing this song. I titled it Revelations.
When I sit down to write, one of the things I like to use most is a thesaurus. I started with a one word, revelations. I look it up in a thesaurus, and I could have ten words then, each with a different sound, each offering a different rhyme scheme for me. As I When I feel I've taken my song as far as I can, I then bring it to a recording studio. I think it's important to get feedback and ideas from other musicians. Aldous Collins is a guitarist and a friend. He accompanies me in the recording studio. At the studio, we work with a recording engineer. I'm Richard Marr, I'm a recording engineer. My job is to capture music of a band. I go around and mic everything up, it comes through my board, and it's recorded into the computer system here, a multi-track recorder. All right, guys, roll it. One, two, three. The recording engineer mixes all the vocals and instruments together. Recording your music can actually teach you a lot. You hear your own music differently. Revelation. It changes your perspective, and you notice all kinds of things that you didn't when you composed the song. At the end of the recording session, I have a digital file of my song. I take my songs to radio stations and try to get them to play them on the air to build an audience for my song and my music. Hi, my name is Melanie Oliver. I'm the program director here at the radio station. The program director's job is to decide what music is played on air. So I pick the songs and tell the DJs what songs to play. Hey, Josh, come on in. Hey, Melanie. Hey. So I've picked the three songs that we're going to use for the local music show. Okay, here's some background information. Great. One of the artists' name is Matthew Hawks. Okay. The song is called Revelations. It's going to be a really good song, so I think you should play it on your show. Great. I look forward to playing it. Great. Thank Th you. Thank you. My name is Josh McBride, and I'm a DJ right here at the radio station. The main responsibility of a DJ is to play music on the radio. Other responsibilities include adjusting the volume, speaking with listeners, conducting contests, and reading commercials. Here's a new one from a Boston local. Matthew Hawks did this one. This is Revelations right here on WERS. And now, people all over the world can download it too, which is so cool. If you want to download it, look me up. My name is Matt Hawks. At www.matthawks.com. And the song is Revelations. Enjoy. All right. Quite a bit, uh, quite long the video, uh, but a lot of information. So, first thing we're going to do is with our partners. We're going to summarize it. What is the video about? What did we learn? And what do we have or the predictions that you have for this unit? What do you think we're going to learn in this unit? Okay. So what is the video about? What did you understand? And what are your predictions about this unit? You ready?
Wow, you okay? Hi, if someone tells you that making videos or movies is hard work, would you believe it? Pay attention to Ryan and Nina talk about filmmaking. Movies are hard work. Part A. Listen and practice. Working on movies must be really exciting. Oh yeah, but it's also very hard work. A one minute scene in a film can take days to shoot. Really? Why is that? Well, a scene isn't filmed just once. Lots of different shots have to be taken. Only the best ones are used in the final film. So, how many times does a typical scene need to be shot? It depends, but sometimes as many as 20 times. One scene may be shot from five or six different angles. Wow! I didn't realize that. Why don't you come visit the studio? I can show you how things are done. Great! I'd love to. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What else makes working on movies difficult? So, you see, it's not really as glamorous a job as people think. I guess not. For example, the hours are dreadful. So it's not exactly a 9 to 5 job? Not at all. Sometimes we shoot a scene right through the night. Or we may start work early in the morning. We have to get everything ready for a shoot the lighting and everything, and that can take hours. So if we're going to start filming at 8 in the morning, we usually have to be on the job by 3 or 4 a.m. to get ready. 3 in the morning? That's unbelievable. Oh, no, it's not. Believe me, it happens all the time. Hello, in this lesson we'll study passive to describe process. Get your notebook and get ready to take notes. The passive to describe process is R plus past participle. A scene isn't filmed just once. Only the best shots are used. Modal plus B plus past participle. One scene may be shot from five or six different angles. Lots of different shots have to be taken. Before we begin, let me review the reasons for using the passive. Number one, we don't know who does the action. Number two, the doer of the action is... Okay, so tell me, what did you learn about music? What did you learn? How is it made? What happens in order to get a song ready? No? 
It's okay. We didn't understand the video. Play the video again. If it can be, we can see it again. No problem. <laughs> the important is to be honest, not only to be quiet, waiting. Uh huh. Anybody else? Anybody else? Yes, I think it's better we can hear you again. The video. Okay. No problem. Let's watch that video one more time. Remember, they are describing the process of how music in a song in particular is built. So listen, what is the process? What are the steps to make the song? Keep on watching these videos. They give you a preview of what this section will be about. My name is Matthew Hawks and I'm a singer-songwriter. Making music is my creative outlet, the way I make sense of the world around me. When I sit down to compose, the first thing I do is tune my guitar. Once the guitar is tuned up and ready, I set up the keyboard. The keyboard has multiple functions and multiple sounds. What comes out of me is a reflection of how I'm feeling that day. Sometimes I can spend hours writing one piece. I'm writing this song. I titled it, Revelations. All right, to make it easier, tell me, what do you understand up to now? What is happening? He, he first, he turned his guitar. Okay. Then set up the keyboard. And think about the, the letter for a song. And he realized that the title was. Okay, pretty good. Very good. That's the idea what he's doing so far. Those are all the correct process. This is before he starts to make the song. So here, let's find out how we complete a song. When I sit down to write, one of the things I like to use most is a thesaurus. I started with a one word, revelations. I look it up in the thesaurus and I could have 10 words then, each with a different sound, each offering a different rhyme scheme for me. As I When I feel I've taken my song as far as I can, I then bring it to a recording studio. I think it's important to get feedback and ideas from other musicians. Aldous Collins is a guitarist and a friend. He accompanies me in the recording studio. At the studio, we work with a recording engineer. I'm Richard Marr, I'm recording. Okay, so what's going on up to now? Teacher, I have a question. Yes, when he's When he says he is doing the source, which, which means that source? The source is the, the idea for the bass or the music? The bass of the music. The rhythm, not the source is the the source is the the where it comes from, the origin. Mm -hmm. Like the kind of the music, or I don't understand it. What was the what was the sentence, Lillian? 
<coughs> the, the person. Uh -huh. He needs the place. He, he, he used source to oh, make, to no make source. Some. No source. He used a thesaurus. Sorry. He, he mentioned it like three times that word. No, no source. Thesaurus. Thesaurus. I understand what you're saying. Thesaurus is oh, the book that we use. It's a great, great difference. <laughs> the thesaurus is the, the word or the book that they use for synonyms and antonyms. Do you understand mm. synonyms and antonyms? Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, the book is called the thesaurus. So you can see, for example, happy, glad is a synonym. Happy, angry is the antonym. To find the synonyms and the antonyms, you use a book called a thesaurus. Mm. So the writer used that to, to, to build find the mute. To find synonyms. Uh huh. Ah, yes. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Rhythms. Exactly. So that that's why the different words, the same idea, but different words. That way they can uh, match with the rhythm, the beat of the music. Oh, thank you. Oh, okay. Okay. So. Now that the question is answered, tell me what is happening in the video? Well, he says that he used stories to build or complete the, the song. And, and after that, he bring that song finisher to the recording studio. Mm -hmm. Good, exactly. So first he creates it, he writes the song, he has the idea as much as he can. And then now he has to put all of it into a professional sound and he goes to the recording studio. Who is this man in the recording studio? The man that we look in the video, who is that man? I guess he's the di director. Similar. Yeah, engineer. Correct. He is the sound engineer. Sounds engineer. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now we're going to listen to what is his job and what is the idea of a sound engineer in making a song. Recording engineer. My job is to work with a recording engineer. I'm Richard Marr. I'm a recording engineer. My job is to capture music of a band. I go around and mic everything up comes through my board and it's recorded into the computer system here, the multi-track recorder. All right, guys, roll it. One, two, three. The recording engineer mixes all the vocals and instruments together. Recording your music can actually teach you a lot. You hear your own music differently. Revelation. It changes your perspective, and you notice all kinds of things that you didn't when you composed the song. At the end of the recording session, I have a digital file of my song. I take my songs to radio stations and try to get them to play them on the air, to build an audience for my song and my music. Hi, my name is Melanie Oliver. I'm the program director here at the radio station. The program director's job is to decide what music is played on air. So I pick the songs and tell the DJs what songs to play. Hey Josh, come on in. Hey Melanie. Hey, so I've picked the three songs that we're gonna use for the local music show. Okay, here's some background information. Great. One of the artists' name is Matthew Hawks. Okay. The song is called Revelations. It's going to be a really good song, so I think you should play it on your show. Great. I look forward to playing it. Great. Thank Th you. Thank you.
my name is Josh McBride and I'm a DJ right here at the radio station. The main responsibility of a DJ is to play music on the radio. Other responsibilities include adjusting the volume, speaking with listeners, conducting contests, and reading commercials. Here's a new one from a Boston local. Matthew Hawks did this one. This is Revelations right here on WERS. And now, people all over the world can download it too, which is so cool. If you want to download it. Okay, so tell me what else happens uh, from the video. So the last part was the recording engineer. The recording engineer helped them, and then what happens? Okay, the song uh, in the studio, the song is completed, uh, and then the song is is taken to the radio, to the radio to 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 put in the air the song. Right, that only that I understood. Good. But before it's on the air, who has to see it? Who has to approve it? The girl, the, the, uh, uh, there is a girl that here the planning, the who, who shows the, the kind of song that the, the radio will go to the air, to okay. the public. Correct. And then she gives the list to who? Who does she give the list to? To the DJ, the DJ is, is in charge to to put the radio on the air, and and he interact with, with the people that hear the, the the song. Exactly, exactly. That is the idea. Okay, great. So now we understand how the entire idea is to make a song. A lot of things happen. It's not only uh, the artist and record, it's a lot. Mm -hmm. So that is kind of what we're going to learn in this unit. This unit is about describing process. Describing process, in this case for music, but also for other things, okay? We're going to be looking at specifically movies and how do we use the passive, the grammar, the passive in movies. So. Let's take a look. How do you think they make the movie? Do they go in order? Do they uh, write it? Do they practice? How do you think the movie is made? It's very similar, I think. So the movies needs at the beginning uh, a screenplay. Right, then they choose the, the actors with a director. And after that, when the movie is ready, at the end, they chose to the public with a different uh, movie theaters. And I think this very similar to the radio. Okay. Or, or a song. Great. Great idea, Luis, great idea. Let's watch a video and find out how is a movie made? Is it hard work is it easy is it like oh wow super fun like john wick and keanu reeves or what let's watch or let's listen to a conversation and discover hi if someone tells you that making videos or movies is hard work would you believe it pay attention to ryan and nina talk about filmmaking movies are hard work part a listen and practice Working on movies must be really exciting. Oh, yeah, but it's also very hard work. A one-minute scene in a film can take days to shoot. Really? Why is that? Well, a scene isn't filmed just once. Lots of different shots have to be taken. Only the best ones are used in the final film. So how many times does a typical scene need to be shot? It depends, but sometimes as many as 20 times. One scene may be shot from five or six different angles. Wow, I didn't realize that. Why don't you come visit the studio? I can show you how things are done. Great, I'd love to. Okay, 
So tell me a little bit about this. What did we learn? <coughs> How is the movie made? Um, the person says that it, it is a hard work because they need to use shots in different angles and that do the, the difficult or do a, a scene because they have to work in many, many times to only have one shot. Okay, good. Look how many times, sometimes, what is it, some movies, how many times do they need to be shot? It says 20, 20 times. Yeah, imagine the same thing 20 times for one minute, one minute in the movie, and you have to do it 20 times. It's a lot of work or no? Yes. Yeah. Now let's listen to the rest of the conversation. Listen and what do they say? I can show you how things are done. Great. I'd love to. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What else makes working on movies difficult? So you see, it's not really as glamorous a job as people think. I guess not. For example, the hours are dreadful. So it's not exactly a nine to five job. Not at all. Sometimes we shoot a scene right through the night or we may start work early in the morning. We have to get everything ready for a shoot, the lighting and everything, and that can take hours. So if we're going to start filming at eight in the morning, we usually have to be on the job by three or four a.m. to get ready. Three in the morning? That's unbelievable. Oh, no, it's not. Believe me, it happens all the time. Mm. So what else do they say? Oh, wow, why everybody so quiet today? We didn't understand. We want to listen again. Can we yeah. listen it again, yeah. please? Yeah, no listen problem. Listen again, please, teacher. Of course, but you need to communicate with me. No, only I. No, mejor no participo porque no digo. No, tell me, tell me. That way we can listen again. Here we go. Let's listen one more time. Hi. Beautiful. So it's not exactly. There we go. So, you see, it's not really as glamorous a job as people think. I guess not. For example, the hours are dreadful. So it's not exactly a nine-to-five job. Not at all. Sometimes we shoot a scene right through the night, or we may start work early in the morning. We have to get everything ready for a shoot, the lighting and everything, and that can take hours. So, if we're going to start filming at 8 in the morning, we usually have to be on the job by 3 or 4 a.m. to get ready. 3 in the morning? That's unbelievable. Oh, no, it's not. Believe me, it happens all the time. Okay. Now that we listen again, what do they say about making a movie? What is some specific information that they talk about? A teacher, I am, I don't understand what the person says. The hours dread, dreadful. Very good. That is correct. The hours are dreadful. You are right. That's what they say. The hours are terrible. Dreadful. So, Lillian, what time do you work? Uh, what time? I work. Yes, what time do you work? Eight. Eight to five. This is normal. Eight to five. Mm -hmm. Imagine mm -hmm. you had to work 
from nine to three in the morning or from two in the morning to 10 in the afternoon. Or this is dreadful. The hours are terrible. Uh -huh. It's okay, Lily? Yes, she, yeah, okay. Now I understand what, why she was telling about that because she said that only for prepare a shot, she need to work three or, or many hours only for one step and begin at six or eight, but they arrive, they, they finish until 3 a.m. of the other day, only for prepare one step of the film. Pretty good, Lillian, almost correct, but no for the next day. If they are going to film, if they are going to film at eight o'clock, they need to prepare before. They need to prepare at two or three in the morning, four or five hours before. Uh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So imagine like the class. Yes. Yes. I, 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 I understand that when the actors, the main actors, go to the studio to make the shoots, the scenes. <clears throat> Previous that, there is a lot of people preparing the sets. They they have they have to start like three or four a.m. Uh, to get ready to the actors make the scene uh, like uh, a a.m. In, in all day, but three or four hours before. There is a lot of people preparing the sets. That's it. They understood that about the video. That is correct. That is the idea. It's like your job or it's like other things. Maybe the people only see a little bit, but before they have to prepare a lot. And many times, not only one person, many people have to prepare a lot of things before. Yes, it's correct. Excellent. So today, in this moment, we're going to talk about your job. And you're going to describe the process. Not tell me the title. Is not correct. I'm a teacher. I'm an engineer. I'm a... No. You are going to describe what do you do? What is the function of your job? As an example, you don't see. But before I teach my class, I have to look at the presentations, watch the videos, look for new vocabulary. Maybe I don't know the vocabulary, but I have to be prepared because if someone asks me the vocabulary, dreadful, faithful, the stories, I have to know to forgive the lesson. After my class, I have to check to see if we are in schedule. We have to do, this is the same for you and your partners. You and your partners are going to describe what is your job. No, say the title. No, oh, I am a nurse. I am an engineer. I am a doctor. I am bus driver. No, what do you do? What is the function of your job? The steps. It's okay? It's okay, teacher. Okay. I give you a few moments so that you can describe with your partner, what do you really do? What do you do in your job?
Okay, let's start. Uh, Claudia, tell me about Lillian. Claudia, tell me about Lillian. Claudia said that she only be a, a listen, listener ah, because okay. she is she's in work. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you for reminding me. Okay. So Jenny, tell me about tell me about Lillian. Lillian have three work. <laughs> has three jobs. Has three jobs. I'm sorry. Has three jobs. Uh, one of them is is she 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 prepared uh, I I understand she prepared uh, ice cream. Okay. But I don't know who this who say barquillos <laughs> or conos de conos de lado how 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 I say in English. Ice cream cones. Ice cream cones. Mm -hmm. This is the equal to barquillos. <laughs> this is equal to uh, the, barquillos. Los conos, los conos de uh -huh, sorbete. This oh, okay. is ice cream cones. Okay. I, I understand that she she prepared uh, all, all that related to, to the ice cream. The okay. other job is... She's a, a she's a, a driver to the airport or to the airport to many other places, tourist princip principal princip principalmente principal mainly is, mainly is tourist about tourists. She uh, she she walks no she drive uh so through the the country uh, with other people that say and um, uh, very places I only <laughs> okay okay thank you very much and Linian tell me about Jenny yes Jenny she she se asegura. She, what did she say? Uh, she, she work the fixing system for the, for other people. Okay. So she is receiving requirements from a, a specific system and the, she need to fix that requirement to the other people. That's it, right, Jenny? <laughs> okay, all right, mm -hmm. good. All right, thank you very much. Hey, Lillian, select one person. Okay, uh, Rosa? Rosa, all right, Rosa, tell me about Walter. Walter about Alejandra and Alejandra about Rosa. Like teacher, short question. Yes, Rosa. Rosa, tell me about Walter. Um, I wait. Um, I don't. I don't. I didn't work because I am um, because I am. Walter Walter doesn't work, Rosa. Oh. Rosa? Hi. Walter doesn't work. 
Um, and how to I set I don't work. I don't understand, Rosa. Uh, can you please repeat? I don't not work. No, no, but you're not explaining you, Rosa. You're explaining Walter. Um, so, Rosa? No. Yes, no, you can explain about Walter or no? Um, no. 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 Okay, Rosa. All right, so you have to practice more listening, Rosa, to make sure you understand your partners. Okay. Walter, exp uh, tell me about Alejandra. Okay. Uh, Alejandra doesn't work yet. She study in the university. She study business administration uh, about the, the computers. Alejandra study in the morning and the afternoon she made the, the homework. Okay. Good, good. All right. In what university, Walter? Um, no, I don't remember the name of the university. Mm. Okay. Alejandra, tell me about Rosa. Mm, well, she doesn't work and she didn't say anything else. Okay. All right. So, okay. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. All right. And in that case, Ale, select the next person. Gladys? Gladys Sanchez? Yes. All right, Gladys, tell me about Luis Fernando. Luis, tell me about Astrid. And Astrid, tell me about Gladys. Well, in our team, only Luis can, can describe his job. Oh. So he he tells us about his uh, purchaser mm -hmm. of a, a company. He is in charge of buy supplies for all the productions. And he says another thing, but I really, I really don't remember. Okay. All right. So Luis spoke only for eight minutes. Is that correct, ladies? Yes. Okay. Yes. And out of all of the conversation, only remember he is a purchaser and buys things. Uh, teacher. Yes, Luis? Uh, yes, but uh, in uh, my, my uh, memory is very, very bad. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Need, We're going to work on that. Yes. I need to add that who who started the conversation was Astrid. Okay. But the point is that Astrid is sick as time, and so then I I told her that and I I will uh, I need to start. In this case, a mirror, like she is sick. No yeah. problem. She start, she start, she start uh, talking about her job that she, she like a, she is like a receptionist or, or, or maybe a, a call center. So she she answer the info the the telephone. But she she couldn't tell tell us more, so she's sick at this time. Uh, for that reason, I I spend like all the time talking by myself. 
No problem, Luis. It's okay. The important is we're trying to look at the job and what you do. So for tomorrow, you need to prepare the job. You are the recruiter. You need to prepare the position. How can we explain it? Easy. Imagine you are the boss and you are describing the functions. The, whatever job you have, what is the function? What is the things that you have to complete? What are your responsibilities? What is your schedule? This we're going to explain tomorrow. It's okay, the homework of what you have to present tomorrow? Okay, teacher. Yes. Yes, any questions? No vengan mañana. Teacher, fíjese que no me quedó claro. No, right now, right now is the moment. Do you understand what you're going to do? Yes. We need to explain our job. Exactly. Oh, so okay. when you imagine you are your boss, uh -huh. okay? And they are describing your position. What are, you, what are your responsibilities? What is your schedule? What do you have to do? What you are expected? This is the idea. Okay. Teacher. Yes. An option for something like me that I I don't work uh -huh. in this in this moment. I don't have job. And your last job, Gladys? Oh well, I can talk about there. The option is fixed. No problem. Oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome, Gladys. Anybody else? Rosa, did you understand? Rosa, did you understand? Um, yes? Yeah. Okay, yes. excellent. So tomorrow we begin listening to the presentations and then we continue about learning more about jobs and to describe processes using the passive, okay? Okay, teacher. All right, perfect. Have a nice night. I see you tomorrow. Okay, good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.